We have our uh, person who's been running a chapter from New Hampshire. She has a message from Senator Shaheen, who was here, but because we had so many other guests, he had to leave for a hearing. Lata. Good evening. Um, I have a distinct honor of standing here and uh, talking about U.S. impact, wearing several hats. Uh, let me declare that I am a newly elected legislator at the uh, state of New Hampshire, and I fought a very hard uh, fight. And when we talk about millions of votes, uh, when I ran for a special election, that was my driving message. We had 5,982 registered voters in our ward. And guess how many showed up for primary election? 500. It was very heart-wrenching for me. So I made it upon myself, took it upon myself to have a mission to say, I have to knock on every door, mobilize the Indian American community that was, they thought politics was not their game. So the, my message was, politics is not a spectator sport. You have to engage, you have to participate. Um, so in the general election, and uh, it was 25% the highest turnout in our city, but 25% compared to how many millions. It, that's my dream to say we have to get the voter participation up here. Anyway, I'm talking about, uh, that's a little bit about the voting um, record. And um, I'm talking here about, I have some very first in New Hampshire. I want to share some uh, history about New Hampshire. We have, uh, we are the first in the nation primary. So those of you who know, all the presidential candidates come to New Hampshire, court the New Hampshire voters for more than 18 months before the general election. And we have the all women delegation from New Hampshire. Our governor is a woman, both our senators are women, and both our congresswomen are women. So we have pink delegation to, <laughs> from state of New Hampshire. And our Senator Shaheen was here, and she was called in to vote, and we couldn't get her to the um, mic. But our congressman, uh, Congresswoman Annie Custer, I couldn't get her here because she's on a plane to head back, but she has given a message, and I would like to read that to you. Thank you, uh, U.S. India Political Action Committee. Dear friends, thank you for organizing today's event and for your work to amplify the voices of Indian Americans and to highlight the critical importance of U.S.-India relationship. I am especially thankful to my friend, Representative Lata Manjipudi for her leadership in our uh, home state of New Hampshire and for inviting me to participate in today's seminar. While I regret that I cannot be with you today, I'm honored to have this opportunity to address you. As the world's largest democracy, India is a vital partner of United States on the world stage. We all stand to benefit from strengthening the economic, cultural and political ties between the United States and India, and the Indian American community plays a key role in increasing understanding and dialogue between these two great nations. That is why I am proud to join the Congressional Caucus on India and Indian Americans, and look forward to continued work with you through this coalition. I commend you all for your commitment to education, policy make, educating policymakers, and the public on issue facing Indian Americans. Thank you for everything you do to help build a better future together. So I did now serve on um, as a school board member, and then in 2006, Sanjay Puri uh, called me and said, since I had gotten off the school board, school committee, if I would join or start a chapter of New, um, India US Political Action Committee in New Hampshire. And uh, my question was, what are your goals? What were, you know, educating and building ties uh, between the two nations? That was dear and near to my heart. So I said, I will do anything to help. And it started with a, a small initiative of ha hosting an event for then uh, Senator Evan Bai. And the response was 
so overwhelming and so great, I realized that I can't sit back and just watch the world go by. We have, we do have the talent. We do come from a great heritage. I came to this country in 85, and this, the, our country, India, gave us a great start. And I'm proud that I was educated. I came with my education and two suitcases to a country which is also a democratic country where I could, uh, sky was the limit if only I participated. And so, the and US Impact really gave me a great, great platform to kind of work together and build the bridges like uh, uh, the previous uh, speaker talked about. We coming from India, settling here, this is my home now, this is where my kids call home. So what do I do as a mother to connect the two worlds? And India Pac, uh, US CDI uh, Political Action Committee has given me that platform to connect the two. And um, it's been great to host a lot of events for the presidential candidates. And when they are coming through New Hampshire, New Hampshire is unique. In, unique in that sense, I'm proud to say that, because you cannot just be a bystander in New Hampshire. You have to be an active participant in a political process. And so this has given me an opportunity to meet candidates on both aisles, both sides of the party. So true bipartisan approach. And I've been honored and privileged to have that great backing from uh, PAC. And it's just always a phone call to either Sanjay or Surabi. They have showed up for the events. And it's very powerful to be able to have that close interaction and to get the thought process going in terms of what's important to Indian American community. What is on our agenda or we all care for good education for our kids, good economic growth, good health care, a vibrant community, a peaceful way of living. That's a common core for both communities and both nations. So we have a very common core, and that has been a great motivating and driving force for me. And it is too bad, and I have to say, as the first Indian American to be elected to the office in the state of New Hampshire, I cannot tell you the support I got from my team, our elected officials, Senator Shaheen's office, Senator uh, um, you know, Congressman Woman, uh, Cara Carol Shea Porter, and Custer's office. I, my drive was to get people out to vote, so I would have 15 to 20 people every weekend knocking on the doors. So that was very, very important to us. And voter, voter turnout was a key driving force for me. And I wish and I hope I could uh, have Senator Shaheen um, speak. Um, to all of you, she's coming. Oh, great! And I, I know how much it means. I mean, Senator Shaheen knows how much it means to me, my community, Indian American community, and my community in New Hampshire. So I have embraced both together, and I'm really honored. And before she, um, she's coming, should I introduce her? Tell her what her. Yeah, I mean, what she's doing here. OK. So I have some very um, special things about Senator Shaheen. She is the only, uh, she was the first female governor in New Hampshire. And she, uh, she was a four-term governor. And she's the only governor and a US senator in the country. A governor, past governor, and a senator now. And uh, she's also, she was a school teacher, a great, great friend who any, yeah, she, she had taken a delegation. She couldn't go personally because of her obligations here, but she had taken a, sent a delegation to India in 2011. Anytime I need uh, help or in terms of building relationship, there's always a phone call away. And so that kind of, we have that support 
from the local lawmakers here, and we have the support through PAC in uh, India. And like I said, politics is not a spectator sport. If we cannot change, then who? The, we say the society, who is the society? We make the society. And that's why we have to get involved in whatever we can do to make a change in a small one in